and this one Ochni and hello everyone um, welcome back to my channel I am Demi and I am making my student studying in Germany uh, for a few years already and today's video is going to be a bit different than normal normally I only um, play piano and talk about stuff here in Germany but today I'm going to show you um, what I am really into recently and those should be counted as my favorites that's why this video is about monthly favorites so we can start now um, the first one is Tash Sultana um, she's an Australian singer-songwriter and she plays different, lots of different instruments and also can do many artistic things and a very great performer I just found her on YouTube for, for two days or something like that and then just quite obsessed with her performance um, she's very um, during her performance she's really into her music and you can feel that she can feel the music um, very great performer I love her style I love her Australian accent and I um, and I would love to see her live someday so let's see if I can make it to one of her concerts or any festival that she uh, will be playing the song that I love the most is Jungle um, I think it hits around 56 million on YouTube and it's a great song, great rhythm, great guitar solo, everything is very great and um, when she performs any songs of her it's just amazing, it's just like free spirit guitar solo that comes out from her. So I really really recommend everyone to check her out if you don't know her yet but I think most of you might know her already, she's been famous for years but I am mean, the one who just uh, discovered her so that's why she's my recently favorite person or favorite musician to, uh, to follow up with and the second thing is also somehow related to Tash Sotana because since I saw her great performance uh, every time she has live concerts and live performances uh, it kind of reminds me of the drugs LSD so this year I've been watching quite lots of uh, documentaries about musicians in general and also a bit about drugs and um, since I think most of you guys know that I am quite a big fan of the Beatles and it was the rock and roll time and it is more or less related to drugs always as um, when you talk about those great performers those great musicians I think everybody is know in general that most of um, the musicians maybe all of them has uh, taken different kinds of drugs or drugs in general um, and the Beatles has also taken LSD so when I watch uh, Tash Sultana and how great she could perform it just remind me of this drug uh, because what from what I heard uh, is that LSD brings more creativity and um, most of musicians has taken it not only this specific drugs but also other kinds of drugs so back at the rock and roll time um, according to what I've watched uh, in the documentaries those great musicians which performed so so well has taken any types of drug to you know to urge their performance to bring out more creativity and you know to get you really feel the music uh, during your own performance your own playing so it's really interesting for me as a musician myself because I started to play keyboard at the age of 11 and started piano at 16 and uh, it's just quite interesting to get to know a bit of how those substances can change your creativities um, in context of music. So then I borrow a book about LSD, it's in uh, German, it's basically about uh, LSD experiences. Maybe I put it a bit uh, near. Okay. Um, I just begin to read it, almost a half of it actually, <laughs> and it's quite interesting how um, how artists, how artists has dealt a lot with drugs, um, any kind of artist. So if you want to have basic knowledge about LSD or what it looks like, maybe you could watch um, a film Yellow Submarine uh, of the Beatles. Um, it's very colorful, very psychedelic and everything like that. So, uh, 
so you could have a bit of idea how LSD works and why it brings out the creativity. So I suggest you to watch that because I just also watched the film uh, this year and I find it interesting because um, Yellow Submarine film is basically used after all the Beatles have encountered LSD and also the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds is basically shortcut for LSD too is also produced after they encounter with LSD so it's quite interesting how you know the Beatles album has changes from years to years and then it's like something else so different uh, after the year that they have encountered the drugs and for me it's really interesting recently so I'm gonna finish the book really soon I think and hopefully that it uh, makes me understand that how the drug brings out the creativity and makes you see things that you don't see normally in life and you know such stuff. So yeah, I think that's my recent favorite. I don't always have favorites so this time it's just like specifically about musicians and drugs related to them. I think I will not have monthly favorites video every month like other YouTubers because me it's an ongoing thing it's like you know this year I have watched uh, Yellow Submarine I read about LSC I read about drugs I uh, then I discovered a um, few good bands and good musicians so it's kind of ongoing favorites for me for the whole year basically but if I do have uh, something new which I am really into I'm gonna do a monthly favorite video again so that's it for today the weather is going to rain probably soon and I hope I'll be coming with another video very soon I can't promise but I hope please like this video if you find it interesting and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and because I will be so grateful for that um, and hopefully we'll see each other soon so it should be and bye bye